An expert on Asian trade warns about Chinese sanctions next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. Writing in the Financial Times and appearing on MSNBC's Squawk Box last week, former Morgan Stanley Asian expert and current Yale senior fellow Stephen Roach said that the White House is fear-mongering and practicing poor economics by blaming America's ills on trade deficits and the poor deals that undermine them, and that it threatens the well-being of the still fragile global economy. America has trade deficits with 101 nations, indicating this is not a bilateral problem, as the Trump administration has indicated, but that it is a multilateral one. And Roach said that tough talk aimed at a singular country is nothing more than political bluster, and that eliminating a trade deficit with one country would only mean expanded deficits with others. He continued, explaining that the temptation to punish China is an example of the administration's misguided approach because imposing punitive tariffs against China would backfire, since almost 50 percent of America's total merchandise trade deficit is with China. Roach explained that goods would then have to come from different countries with higher cost structures and product prices, which he said would be tantamount to a large tax on consumer prices. In other words, if we have to import goods from countries other than China, the cost of goods here at home will increase. The president said in his inaugural address, protection will lead to great prosperity and strength. But according to Roach, in the 1920s and 1930s, protectionism led to a global trade war and the Great Depression. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minutes.